So we need a couple tools to make this. We're going to get diagonal wire cutters. We got some pliers and just like a screwdriver. So those are the only three tools. There's no soldering or anything like that. Ready to go. The first step is to put together the gearbox. And these are all the components of the gearbox. The actual gears are right here. And it's kind of cool. They're all attached with these cords. They just plug in. There's no soldering or anything. But the gears, they come like this and they're magnetic. So you can see they all kind of like stick together. That's kind of something cool I thought I'd point out. So here's the gears for that gearbox. So it has motors, it has gears, um, and these are the actual gears themselves. You have to use two types. You have to use a black and you have to use a brown. So an important point is when you're putting these gears in, it has to be, this is uh, just uh, one of these bolts or these washers. It has to be that with this point up as it goes in. So I actually have to do it. I did all of them, but they were kind of tough to do, so I thought I'd just demonstrate how I do it. Because you actually need to push it in, and it takes more force than I could do with my hand. And you see that point is pointing up. The next step is you take this blue gear and this black gear and you put it into place. And then you put this into the gearbox like that. And you do that four times for four components. Just the same So the thing. next part is to put the gears into place. And you have to do this four times, but my four-year-old did it mostly. So you put one gray. They're three color gears and they're different sizes. And then here's another gray. And then here's a brown. So gray, gray, brown. And I can spin it and you can see, you know, the blue moves a little bit and the two grays, they move a lot. So that's it. Pretty easy. You just put these little poles in. Next thing we do, we're going to put in the motor. And so there are four motors again. Um, two of them are different colors. So I put this wire just through here like that. And then all I do, th there's a capacitor, this thing on this side. So I just make sure that's facing the right way, and it just snaps in. That's it. And you can see how it meshes with the gears, and that's what's going to run the gears. So we're almost there. The only thing to do left is to essentially put this cap on. So I put everything into place, as you saw, and I'm going to put the cap on like that. And these are the robot elbows, essentially. This is what moves that arm up and down, and we got four of them. So it can have all those different um, ways to move around, or what we call degrees of freedom. So that's done. I'll just need to put three screws in there, and we'll move forward. Next, we're going to build the base. This is the robot arm base. So it just has these plastic pieces that just stack on top of each other, like that. And then you just Next part, you just snap this motor in, just like this. So you just snap it in. 